We've read a lot of books about dragons, and my, uh, myself, I'm an Asian, so I know a lot about Asian dragons too. But have you ever found a book that contains all the dragons, including the Eastern and Western dragons? Well, this is the book. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is all Aaron the bookquester. Today I have this epic Dragonology book. Today it's a Dragonology and it's a guide for a Dragonologist. And uh, there's actually a book series about these dragons. And I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. But it's about the Sir Drake. With the two children who gets trained, who doesn't know about dragons, but they find out about dragons when they meet and that when they meet with Sir Drake and stuff like that, and the evil guy who wants the dragon animal and stuff like that, and you know it was a great book, and this is the guide for it. And I got my old old dragon toy here. It's from it's from like Godzilla or something. And it's a really cool toy, but in this book, it says that it clearly states that there are no such thing as three-headed dragons. So let's get right on to the guide. The guide is actually pretty cool with a letter and a picture of the author. We don't know if the I don't I'm not sure if this is the actual author or just the cover name, but you know. And first, there is the foreword. Which contains a huge picture of a dragon. Then it shows a huge map of where all many many dragons has been spotted. And if you can see, this is North America, and you can see a type of gold dragon. And if you come towards here, you can see that this dragon is over the place where the Maya once existed. And if you go on to Africa, you can see the, this dragon, a weaver actually, who ate elephants for its meals. And if you go on to Europe, there is the kind of dragon that is commonly see, seen in fairy tales that, well, captures princesses. And now this is my favorite part. As you can see, that is... Asian dragons. Asian dragons are mostly depicted as holy and divine, the protectors of of heaven. And but you know, Western dragons are like evil, devilish things. So we'll see about that. Chapter two is about the different species of dragons, and the first page is about rat Western dragons. As most Europeans Amer and Americans imagine, you would imagine a large reptile with bat-like wings with fire-breathing abilities. And that is what this, this first part talks about, the commonly thought Western dragons. But the next part was what really impressed me, the part that I know knew this author, even though he was a European, he did some research. Boom shakalakin. Different species of dragon. Chapter 2. Eastern dragons. These are dragons that comes out in the myths in China, Korea, and Japan. And uh, usually this is the kind of dragon that comes out in Korean mytho mythology. A dragon which scales are made with jade. And which can control the weather. Then this gold dragon right here is the kind of dragon that is depicted in Chinese mythology. The golden scales and the stag horns and stuff like that. And really it talks about really interesting stuff about, uh, it, about the eastern dragons. And it also talks about the common, common misconceptions. You see, this is what an hour... In our mythology, we call that a dragon pearl, a yoiju. It's what contains all the dragon's magic. But in this book, the author used a little bit of imagination, and it says that the lung's egg was once thought to be a, thought to be a huge pearl. So basically what that means is that what in Korean mythology is depicted as a magical pearl is actually a egg. 
which was really interesting to read because I'm